Okay, I'm here with uh, Sean Crochet, a psychic medium and paranormal investigator. Sean, if you would, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been ghost hunting? Sure. Um, I've, I've always been uh, psychic in my entire life, but uh, I've been investigating and helping people with um, using various equipment, uh, and I've been investigating since I retired uh, from the military in 2012. But, uh, you know, it's been a blessing to continue to help people. Um, and I, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Uh, what makes me unique? Um, as a psychic medium, I believe um, as a team member, that brings an, an entire different kind of uh, picture to it. I'm uh, kind of a watchdog, a hound dog. I can go down and track down spirit by using my senses. I can walk an entire huge location and find intelligent spirit. That makes me extremely unique as as a paranormal investigator and as um, a team member. Um, my personality, I'm very outgoing. I love, I love working with people and I love helping people. So I don't see anything negative with that. Um, I'm very detailed and I, I really enjoy um, really helping anybody that comes to me with, with uh, tough cases. Um, a lot of times they are really tough. So Sean, tell me a little bit about the gear that you use. Um, as a psychic medium, I generally don't need gear. But I have, uh, I have EMF detectors, I have uh, static detectors, I have all sorts of IR uh, operating devices. Um, I have upwards of $15,000 with equipment that I use to basically blanket an entire room, an entire location, depending. I have motion um, devices with, um, basically that will detect anything, an object, a table moving. Um, I have such a plethora of, I could just blanket an entire room, an entire, entire potentially an entire building um, with the amount of equipment that I have. And what it does is it allows just inundation of, of so much equipment. And today I only brought, you know, four bags and I have upwards of 15 bags of equipment. Right. So it, it's a lot of equipment. I know you got a ton. Yeah. <laughs> So Sean, are you part of a ghost hunting team? If so, do you have any sidekicks? Um, and can you describe how you guys work together? Psychic and sidekicks. So, so huh? Psychic, sidekick, I was like, yeah, we have psychics. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> right, right. Um, I have a paranormal team that's composed of 15 different members. Uh, we have different components of uh, historians and camera folks and and uh, regular investigators, um, but I also help other other areas. Um, I'm actually the psychic sidekick uh, for <laughs> Simply Ghost, so I am I am the psychic and I'm the sidekick as well. But Dennis runs it, and, and we do a lot of Twitch feeds. We do a lot of haunted um, feeds through that, and it's it's been a lot of fun to kind of demonstrate what we do with equipment, demonstrate how I work as a psychic, but in general, um, I work with the normal team that is um, working with homes and businesses, but I also work with Dennis, and we, we do a lot of interesting and, and fun locations. So tell me, Sean, do you believe in good ghosts or bad ghosts? Oh, de most definitely. Um, in As part of my gift, um, for some reason, I can smell when something is good or bad. Um, I have noticed that bur for some reason, burning wood and sulfur both as are associated with um, what I would consider um, the spookier side of things, the, the negative spirits. Um, and then there's, a, there's so much more when it comes to good ghosts. I, you know, uh, just a, a loved one that's crossed over, um, different uh, spirits that are watching over a location, like here at the Abbey. In the Abbey, we have, we have in the office spaces, we have a monk that watches over the ladies to make sure that they're safe on a daily basis. You know, it's a beautiful thing. But then in the basement, we have uh, a male spirit that likes to mess with, um, not only Sean, because he's teased me a few times, but uh, he, he likes to, some for some reason, he likes to mess with women. Um, so, you know, would I consider them good or bad? 
Um, I, I, the one that's watching other ladies is good. The other one's a little more cantankerous. I don't know if he's bad, but he, you know, he's in this case, he's not totally bad, but I do believe in both. One of the recent cases I had, um, the, the mother and the children were afraid to occupy the basement of the home. They were petrified of entering the space. Um, I came into the space, cleared the space, um, and basically it was just energy, it wasn't actually spirit. And I, I, I cleared the basement, I cleared the entire home, I, I gave them a sense of uh, safety and uh, security, knowing that there's nothing spooky there. And once I did that, um, the two young children, which were uh, five, about five and seven years old, um, began to just go to the basement where they were afraid to even enter the basement previous to me coming in and kind of giving that, that piece. So I believe that any, anytime I'm working with children, it's, it's, it's a good day that I can help and kind of allow them, you know, the freedom of uh, not being afraid in their own home. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Sean. We appreciate your answers and uh, look forward to seeing you on TV. <laughs> Thank you so much.